Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle panel data in a machine learning algorithm. And in this video, I will apply several comparison algorithms and then tell you how to handle them. In the end of the video, I will show you how to see if the forecast of the machine learning algorithm is differing across the cross sections in the panel data and how to visualize it. So uh, stay with me so that you can uh, watch that code by the end. Thank you. So we'll start with this code. These are some relevant libraries that are being loaded. So pandas and scikit-learn and joblib and numpy and matplotlib. So if you press shift enter, it will execute this set of code. So all the libraries are loaded here. Then there's a command that uh, is for random seed so that the whenever you repeat the machine learning it, it uh, makes sure that it gives you same results if you don't apply random seed every time you do the training and testing there will be different results then i am loading the data file so it includes a time series uh, it's a panel data for 22 countries and and it's a panel data for 22 countries and in, in that it's about 20 years of data and it's uh, that so it is loaded here i will show you the head of the data it, uh, it has country variable time variable there are some variables here which is usually showing only my first five observations then if you want to see its descriptive stats so it gives you its mean strand division different percentile positions and maximum so it is some descriptive stats of the data now I will let the Python know that which is my ID variable and which is my time variable. And then I will make sure that my data is indexed to ID and time. So means panel data know the Python knows that it is a panel data. Next, I will tell that in the Y data, there's only R consumption data as a DV and remaining R as, as a IV. So I will uh, declare x and y then it will do is that for training and testing in normal data set what does data set do it takes 80% uh, of data and then uh, randomly randomly picks 80% of the data and then does its learning and then test on the uh, remaining 20% but the problem is panel data is that if you select 80% as randomly you might miss some of the cross section as a whole then the model might not be able to give accurate results for that panel data or with that cross-section which was not included in um, learning or training anyways. So by what we are doing is that the trained data will be all countries but excluding the last observation of uh, time observation of each cross-section. And then the test data will take all of them. So in my observation, uh, there will be 22 countries. So there are 22 observations which are kept as uh, testing. So this way, uh, panel data will make sure that it is learning from all the cross sections. This is the first difference that you will notice when you apply a panel data machine learning algorithm. Then you go for training and testing. So the, the train, Y train and uh, X, uh, X train and Y train data uh, drops the, uh, it, it is the uh, the X train data drops the R column and the Y train data includes the R, uh, R con means consumption data and in the testing same way. So it has uh, now created the X train and X test and Y train and Y test. So then it has uh, reset the uh, data into columns because when we created an index, it moved the time and country as an as a index, not as a variable. So I have to reset it so that it can use that data in analysis. Now we we tell the country train and country test so they will be same. So I created the country train and country test because I need to make some graphs. So I need to have a, have a data separate available as a country. Okay. Then uh, this column, this command is for each country, I need to create a dummy variable so that I can create a least k dummy variable method fixed effect model. So what I'm doing is in X train and X test, what I'm doing is that it is creating dummies 
uh, and 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 rather than country name so it will create dummy for each country in the test and train data then in the y uh, y data it still it will again do a reset because it it has, uh, it has created dummies and it has indexed the country variable okay this command technically is already covered here but it has done it has been done again so that uh, when i create dummies it has been if there any if there is any error it will be if there is an indexation it will be removed now we have added another variable a lagged variable uh, in this example we are trying to make it as a dynamic panel data but you can drop it if you want so i have added a, a lag of dependent variable as an independent variable in the training and in the testing okay uh, the advantage of that is that it it improves the way the model forecasts the future value because without it your your future values uh, in theoretically are unknown for the independent variables also then it will reindex the data because uh, when you shift it it will create an index so i have indexed the data reindexed the data uh, this new variable has been added as an independent variable in both train and testing data and then i drop the missing values even though there was no missing values in the data so i drop the missing values and and made sure that my x train and y train data has been aligned if there are missing values then this elog command is compulsory so that it they are aligned but in my data there was no missing so i can ignore this command then the next command is that we um, this is firstly it was for training data now it is for testing data to drop the missing values and then align it with y data then we are recording several values like model importance model matrix because we will be comparing across the models first command is uh, to plot a learning curve so i will uh, run this loop up till here when i do control shift plus enter it will create this function now we will do it again so first of all we will train a random forest model so a random forest regression includes and uh, this is the command for that and then it will fit the model with x train as iv and y train as dv and then it will do the prediction based upon x test and then plot the uh, the the learning curve so when i press it enter so it will take some time so it has stored the map a plot and it will show it later on then we will do it for linear regression same thing and then for ridge regression then for svm sport svr sport vector and when i do it again it will take some time because it has to train and test all the models and when it is done you will see the arrow signs here that it has done it then i will use the command plot show and it will show me all the commands so we will wait when the arrow comes and then we will show the command graphs so the model has uh, put the calculations and it has done the background calculation for the learning curves if i execute the plot show it will show me the commands here what what is needed to be understood is that it compares the cross validation with the training score and if, if the green line is nearer to the red line it means model has a, it is not overfitting okay or underfitting it is finding a right solution so this is for svr okay and then i will find others this is for ridge regression this is for linear regression all of them are better because they are finding a good solution right before like it's 267 so it's before 300 so but uh, for the case of uh, and the forest it is taking time okay so uh, this is showing that we need to do more more uh, make, we need to create more trainings so that it can find a better solution okay then uh, we can start evaluating so more evaluate model for uh, random forest for linear curve uh, linear regression for ridge regression for svr so when i do shift plus enter it will 
do the calculations in the background it is it is giving me error here because it is not connected with the previous one let's see so the above commands are intactly covered in the next line so we'll do a job lib so it will show store the results of each model and then we'll store them into uh, so create a csv for that and then when i press it enter it will store the results now we will we'll show the comparison matrix for that we need to load the relevant library like, like mean square error f1 score mean absolute error f1 r square precision score recall score so when i do shift enter it will load the libraries then i will normalize the data and then it will calculate it will estimate the model for the normalized data and then predict for the normalized data and then calculate me the comparison parameters and print them across all the models okay so when i press enter so you can see all the values here so uh, for random forest the the r square is uh, negative so uh, for for all of the models the r square was negative it is because that it is not able to um, converge in the in the smaller sample we need to increase the turni uh, training sample and the rmse is lowest for the case of uh, if you see rmse for for random forest is 13.37 which is smaller than for linear regression for Ridge regression and then for um, sport vector regression. Okay, so it means uh, random forest has some better performance, and then we can look for its importance, and we can show the coefficients for importance. It 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 is it is calculating here. Uh, it is creating a data file and then just store the data. Now I will display that with their titles and print their coefficients here so it is showing me the coefficient for each variable as you can see that uh, the data is there for coefficient variables are there so you can compare how each model has given us the coefficients then we need to have the rmse across each country we can do for all others too but in this command i am only showing it for RMSC. So I created a loop for it will run for each country, conclude the forecasting uh, for each model, and then show it country wise. So if I conclude it and if I print it up, so you can see the, this is my RMSC value for each country. So you can see how each model is performing across each country. Then what I can do is that we can plot it using heat plot. So I, I didn't use the normalized one, I used the actual data. So this command is actually uh, useless in this uh, library. So I load the library and then plot a figure in which what I'm doing is I'm plotting the RMSE values across the countries. So let me select all the relevant files and when I let me start from here. And do shift enter it will create a heat plot so you can see how each model is performing so for the case of mexico uh, the models are not performing very well for singapore also but if you note that sweden is performing well for all models but as a whole the random forest has the lowest values across all the models okay so this way it is showing that how uh, model is performing well if you want to see individually some in some cases other models are performing better than uh, random forest like in in linear regression for canada linear regression is performing better and ridge is also performing better then if you look at some other values like like for france all others are performing better then for the case of belgium svr is uh, the the all are all are better than random forest then if you look at other examples uh, if you want then for sweden all others are way better than uh, random forest then in other examples if we include 
that is Brazil, others are performing better. But as a whole, if you note, the, the majority of the numbers are smaller for uh, random forest model across the countries. So this way you can present your uh, machine learning model for panel data. In my example, what, what needed to be improved is that when I estimated the model, when I estimated the model, uh, I should have included like, um, I should have added more uh, sample. I should have added more, uh, what you call it, let me show you the code. In the training, I should have increased more applications so that it can converge to a better solution. So here, I could increase this. Okay, so this way, it can uh, find a better solution. So I hope you understood how to handle a panel data in basic uh, machine learning algorithms. Uh, you can work on this code and try to improve the uh, syntax and find add more valuable things in the model. Thank you very much. Bye.